And another big story we're following tonight, a former Baltimore City Police detective serving nearly 20 years in federal prison for his role in the Gun Trace Task Force scandal is now being asked to be released early from prison. WJZ is live downtown tonight. Paul Gessler has much more on the emergency motion for Daniel Hersel to be released on home detention now. Hey, Paul. Hi, Rick. Yeah, Herschel is five years into an 18 year prison sentence after he was convicted on racketeering and robbery charges. Now he's asking for a compassionate release from prison after a cancer diagnosis. Daniel Herschel is currently incarcerated at a Bureau of Prisons Medical Center in Missouri, diagnosed with terminal cancer. The former Baltimore City police detective, seen here in the Orioles shirt, was convicted in 2018 for his role in the disgraced Gun Trace Task Force. Prosecutors said Herschel and other members of the unit abused their power to prey on people, in some cases, robbing citizens or planting drugs or firearms on them. Herschel, now 53 years old, was diagnosed last month with metastatic prostate cancer. The emergency motion filed Tuesday shows the doctor determined he likely has less than 18 months to live. Legal expert Adam Ruther. It is becoming more common for people with uh, terminal illnesses or serious health concerns uh, to make this request to judges, and it's becoming more common that judges seriously consider it. The fallout from the scandal resulted in nearly 800 criminal cases being tossed because of the tainted officers, and the city is tracking settlements to the Gun Trace Task Force victims, now totaling nearly $23 million of payouts. 323,000 related directly to Herschel. City Comptroller Bill Henry told reporters Wednesday he does not feel much compassion for Herschel. It's a good thing for Daniel Herschel that they're not asking me. Herschel and Marcus Taylor went to trial and both got 18 year sentences. Former sergeants Wayne Jenkins and Thomas Allers are serving 25 and 15 years. Jamel Ram, 12. Mamadou Gondo, 10. And Ovadio Hendricks and Maurice Ward were released last year. Herschel's court filing this week asked that he be released on home detention while his family cares for him. Now, Herschel's pro bono attorney today told me prison hospitals are no place for hospice care. Judge George Russell today ordered federal prosecutors to respond to this emergency motion by November 1st. We're reporting live downtown tonight. I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.